as I sit here on one of my days off. Like my first real day, and I've enjoyed it. I sat home with my wife, watched some movies. But now I'm, I'm sitting here on my computer and I, I want to do something. Like I want to mark up some charts. I want to start bettering, put myself in a better predicament for my credit. And they always say, you know, you can look up whatever you want to look up. You can, you can. Analysis paralysis. You can analyze something until you just get stuck. Or information overload. And I believe that's what I'm going through right now. I, I bought a course over a year ago. 1200 bucks. And I got it for like 998 It's got to do with real estate. However, you know, I'm like down real estate, looking for leads. I mean, basically getting finder's fees. I bought a book about credit. I've got a paid for service. I got Russell Bronson's, almost every book he's made. I'm not doing nothing with it. It's frustrating, this makes me want to pull my hair out. I, I got a lot of fur out, but uh, just going through my emails alone. Rich Dad, people, five business godly, <laughs> five business growth strategies for female entrepreneurs because I bought a product from a female entrepreneur. But it's just frustrating. Frustrating not knowing the next step to take. I guess that's why they say it's always. I know what people need because I know what I need now. I need somebody to tell me the next step. But I just listened to a guy that said that you don't want to have to hold everybody's hand every step of the way. So it's kind of. It's kind of like. Dude said, all you gotta do is give me the blueprint and I'm gonna do it myself. He said, that's all I need. He said, I'm betting on me 100% of the time. So it's basically like I'm, I'm just not giving him my all. I, I bought products and services. It's like I just need to, to put things in action. So I just feel like, what to do next? What to do next? What do I do now? 